In a multi-center, phase three, pivotal randomized study, 2CAD VTPM appears desirable to European men. This study recruited quickly. In some centers throughout Europe, men were fighting to take part in this study because they valued the attributes of the intervention to such a great degree. It is safe. It is well tolerated. It is amenable to quality control. 2CAD VTP uh, was effective at reducing rates of progression, conferring a negative biopsy status, and diminishing the need for radical therapy. Mark, could you tell me um, about active surveillance? What is it exactly and what are its limitations? So it's an attempt to mitigate the consequences of overdiagnosis. By monitoring, uh, we engage in a process of, of delayed selective intervention. And we think that our tools can identify progression if progression occurs, and then we can intervene later. And that's the kind of philosophical basis of the um, intervention. Eva, just, Mark just said philo philosophical question, um, which intervention to use. You were investigating watchful waiting. Could you say something about this? We investigated in the SBCG4 randomized men to radical prostatectomy or watchful waiting, which was the old methods in the 90s where you just watched a man with prostate cancer and if he progressed, we didn't intervene to cure, we just gave hormones to treat the metastases. So your study was dealing with the quality of life. What did you find out? We found that um, their quality of life was suffering from treatment and especially the compromised sexuality was a persistent stress for men in, even in their late 70s and they had more negative side effects than the men in our uh, population control group that we also included in this study. So there are a price to pay of having a radical prostatectomy. Professor Emerton, there is a new wonder drug right now. <laughs> what can you tell us a little bit more about the hopes and also the effects of this drug? So we're trying to come up with a, with a treatment that treats the cancer but has less side effects for the patients, for, for obvious reasons uh, that we just heard. Um, the therapeutic index for prostate cancer is not very high, so the benefits are small and the side effects are, are great. And we need to get these a little bit closer. And what we try and do is identify the cancer and treat the cancer with a margin and preserve the tissue so we can preserve function and cosmesis. And the reason we can do it is that for the first time in 100 years, we can see the cancer. And we've just come from the main session. Uh, the two talks that followed mine were about MRI. And this is increasingly becoming part of the standard care and the diagnostic assessment. And could you tell us a little bit more about the drug? When does it come into play? So, so I've explained the theory um, and uh, now the more the detail. Uh, so what we need is a, is a, um, a treatment uh, that can treat the prostate in a selective manner. Uh, we chose to treat half the prostate because we can all decide where the left is and where the right is and that was the standardized intervention. The beauty about this treatment is that it's not thermal so it doesn't use an extreme of temperature which is very unselective with tissue. When we put a stake into the griddle it sizzles and the protein denatures and it doesn't matter which bit of the stake it is it just dies. Um, what's extraordinary about the combination of light, laser light and photosensitizer, which we, which we place and plan in a geometric manner, is the anatomical nature of the lesions that we create that conform to the anatomy in the blood supply of the prostate. And we feel um, that it's that attribute um, that gives it its very good side effect profile. And what do you think, what effect will this drug have on the treatment of cancer? in the future? I, I think we're at the cusp of a revolution. Um, uh, this is a really big revolution. I think it's difficult to anticipate all the ramifications of that. Um, we, I think, have shown that we can selectively treat the prostate, uh, get rid of the cancers and do so with very little risk to the individual. Do you also consider it a revolution? I think it's, it's really interesting and I, I really look forward to I said to beginning this. of a revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, but 
But this is, I think this allows us now to do that. This, this will give us confidence. The fact that we hit our endpoint so easily uh, in this study uh, and now, now gives us confidence and will give others confidence to invest in this type of study in the future. Well, it was a pleasure to talking to you. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. me. Thank you.